Welcome, Earth Signs. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support, Earth Signs. Let's see what is happening and transpiring for you, Earth Signs. All right, Earth Sign, um, as you recognize, um, this is the video for only the Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We're first going to be doing um, the general readings. Then we look at the Taurus, Virgos, and then Capricorn. All right, so let's see what's happening. We have... Um, uh, you men of 50 years and older, some sort of an issue, problem, situation um, that you men 50 years and older um, is going to be dealing with. And um, whatever the problems is, is that we see the energy of the magician and whatever is uh, transpiring with the energy of the magician, your worries is no longer going to be there. Then I see um, some sort of a destructive behavior, lies and deceptiveness. And some sort of a balance is going to be a balancing out of the some sort of a dishonest play that was created in the second week. We see that in the third week, a lot of you were hoping for some sort of a extra multiple opportunities to come in. But I see that some of you are going to be waiting um, for this because right now um, nothing is uh, uh, the time is not right for anything, so be aware of this. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So a lot of you are hoping for some sort of a work to come in, some sort of a stability and work to come in. So be aware of this. What is transpiring is like a whole lot is going on. It's like a lot of personal issues. Some of you could be dealing with a Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. Some sort of a message could be coming in from this person or some sort of a resolution that needs to take place. So I see the energy of you men 50 years and older is going to be dealing with some sort of an issue that is going to be transpiring. All right, Earth sign people, let's get in and see what is transpiring. We see some sort of an investigation is uh, happening um, um, with you men 50 years and older, some sort of an investigation. If you're a police, I see some sort of a regretful situation is going to be transpiring. I see love, some sort of a dishonesty in love is coming up in the second week where some of you are going to be making some sort of a decision. Some of you could be finding out that your partner has not been honest to you. I see sadness. Um, sadness is coming up for a young Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person. And there is no more opportunities that is going to be coming in for this person for whatever the reason is. Um, there is some sort of a sadness, okay? And then we have a lot of news about money and a whole lot of sadness is going to be transpiring. Now, uh, Taurus, you are going to be feeling this energy more than anything else. So let's go in the reading for the Taurus. For the rest of you, use the stem below this reading and get to, to your um, reading. And we are going to be now looking at the Taurus. All right, Taurus, happy full moon. Um, we are looking first at the fire energies, the sun energy people who are born um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You are at the top. Let's look and see what is coming up. So Taurus men, I see some sort of an investigation, especially if you're a lawyer, doctor, or so some sort of an investigation is going on with you Taurus men or going on behind your back that you're not aware of. So Taurus men, be aware of this because some sort of an investigation is coming up. Now, um, with this investigation, I see um, you're standing your ground. So you Taurus men are really standing your ground with this investigation. Why? And whatever the issue and the situation is and the problems, you are really, really standing your ground and is recognizing what is going to be happening and transpiring. So the magician is here and I see you are trying to create some sort of a balance. You Taurus men are trying to create some sort of a balance because you are now recognizing some sort of an imbalance that was created. And this is going to be good because whatever the imbalance that was created, you're going to be um, trying to create and heal this imbalance and the situation that had happened and transpired. So I see 
you are going to be taking the, the reign in the first week and taking the lead in order to resolve some sort of a problem, whether the workflow is, whether in your personal life, or some sort of an investigation that is transpiring. Second week, lies and deceptiveness. Um, and this has to do, um, the lies and deceptiveness is uh, with friends. So whether these friends are and whatever is transpiring, I see, um, lies. They're recognizing a, a whole lot of lies with your friends. So some of you could have been in a relationship or, and is recognizing that this person has not spoken the truth and that friends have been a really lying and deceiving you for a very really long time. And I see you, Taurus, is, is going to be recognizing this. So um, a lot of you, Tauruses, are going to be really recognizing that um, your friends have not been telling you the truth and uh, you're going to be really feeling bad and you had so much love and admiration for them, but you recognize that your friends were not telling you the truth and you're going to be saddened in that a second week. Third week, I see also um, um, a lot of sadness and uh, um, sorrows, um, regrets for a lady. So you Taurus ladies who are divorced or um, your husband could be going to jail whatever is transpiring, I see you Taurus ladies are saddened. Um, there could be some sort of an information that your husband is going to jail or your child is going to jail or your child is in jail. That could be coming up for some of you Taurus women uh, in the third week. So Taurus women, it is a heavy full moon for you because in the third week, some sort of an information is going to be coming in and it could be letting you that your husband has no court and your husband is in jail. So I see your dreams actually um, fall fall through or fall out because they have picked up your husband and your husband is going to be in jail. So be aware of this. This news is going to be coming in and you're going to be um, sad and sad. You wanted it to happen, but sad because your um, dreams to manifest is now uh, not going to be happening because this person is now in jail and their assets is now frozen. So, you know, careful for what you wish because some people are not aware of uh, things that you wish for. What is going to be the consequences that is going to affect you? So a lot of you ladies wish for your husband to end up in jail. Yes, your husband end up in jail in the third week. But what is transpiring is that what you had hoped for is now um, being blocked because his asset is going to be frozen. I see um, um, worries, financial worries, a whole lot of financial worries is going to be coming up for um, you Taurus ladies. Now that your husband is in jail um, or a fam or yeah, it is coming up as your husband is in jail. So you Taurus ladies, a whole lot of sadness because you had hoped to get some money from your husband. But your husband ends up in jail now. So what you're recognizing is now you wish and hope for something. And this is why I always tell people, um, be careful what you wish for. Because you wishing that your husband end up in jail, you're not understanding that the consequences of your money flow and your financial flow is going to be affected. And you didn't thought about this. All you had was this... Uh, Hanks and this uh, thing that your husband should be in jail and now he's in jail and now you won't get the money that you wanted to have so you know you have to recognize uh, what if I take an action what is going to be the reaction because a lot of you have never thought this out what would have been the reaction and now you're recognizing that um, what you had wanted so much um, came but it affects you and block your wishes and dreams moving forward, okay? We're moving on to the moon sign people and we have the king of swords. A lot of sadness, a lot of sadness with the energy of the king of swords. Um, a whole lot of sadness um, because um, some sort of a information, the eight of cups, a situation is not yet over, ladies and gentlemen. 
um, a lot of you have been dealing with some sort of investigation and this investigation is not yet over. Now, it's as if more information came out. What is so good for you Tauruses is that 88, so financial abundance is going to be coming to you. If you notice the 88, but it's as if uh, right now it is under freeze uh, um, um, because of uh, what is happening and transpired. So your financial abundance is right now on the freeze. So you have to recognize this and uh, really understand what is happening and what is transpired. So recognize uh, what is happening and transpired. Okay. Now they're going to be finding out a whole lot of um, documentation. They're now investigating and finding out a lot of documentation. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. A whole lot of sadness is going to be coming up for you, Tauruses, because they are recognizing and looking at the um, information on a whole lot of documentation and recognizing that you, Tauruses, have created a whole chaotic situation. And they're going to be really taking you, Tauruses, to um, be present for what you have done. So this is for the moon, um, Tauruses. So if you were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., this is for the moon Tauruses. So um, moon Tauruses, something, um, a whole lot of information and documentation. They're investigating this and they're going to be seeing some deceptive play. So that could be coming up in the first week. In the second week, Seven of Cups, whatever is happening, um, uh, the Seven of Cups is and Seven and Seven, you're on the right part. So if you ladies had wonder if you had done the right thing, you had done the right thing, but you should have waited or yes, you know, some sort of a communication is going to be coming in to you ladies that is going to be bringing some sort of a sadness. So, um, and if you notice, it's like, you know, the dream state, you have to come out of the dream state now, Tauruses. Whatever is transpiring, the dream state needs to be over for you, Tauruses. As we go into third week, we have the Five of Cups another time. So there's a lot of double whammy, the Five of Cups. Uh, and this is about regrets. Now you regret. Now you regret a situation. Now you regret the decision that you have made. But what they're saying is that 77, you were on the right part to give up these documents and these information. You were definitely on the right part. It is just taking long. You just want to resolve the situation, but it has been taking very long. And you're wondering if it's going to be working out. Yes, but it is. it takes long. This investigation takes long. I see um, you women have no regrets. You women 50... Uh, 45 years and older have no regrets. You have no regrets over the decision that you have taken. Um, you recognize that there was some sort of a dis deceptive play and you make the right choices uh, and you have no regrets. You're like, uh, um, you know, uh, this should not have happened in the first place. Uh, this shouldn't have happened. And I see you do not regret a moment of what was happening and what was transpiring because you recognize that, you know, whatever, um, what that people have with this documentation or, or information or, um, you, you have no regrets. I see, um, some of you are dreaming of an Aquarian Gemini or, or Libra. And you're really thinking about your child. Um, and you're sad. You're really sad. And it's a, thinking about your child, your child is on your mind, you're thinking about your child and you want some sort of a resolution for your child and for yourself, okay? The worries is here and you have to make a decision about uh, your partner um, that is going to be coming up for you, Tauruses. So Tauruses that have a partner or a child, you have to make some sort of a decision. You ladies are, so it says, I really don't care, you know, how, how this thing turn out, whether it turn out good or bad, I really don't care. I made a decision and I saw the deceptiveness and I made a decision to correct this. And I see a lot of you Taurus women are going to be, you know, 
happy that you make the, the decision. <laughs> Sorry, happy that you make the decision. So see there, I sneeze. So it was a good call what you Taurus ladies have done. All right, Tauruses, it's not bad, not bad. A lot is happening, sadness, but um, it is what it is. You can't change time. You just have to work and create a better future. I got to go. Namaste. Welcome, Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is your full moon, the first full moon from the year 2021. These readings are timeless, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't really matter when you pick up these readings. They're timeless. You can pick it up on another full moon or check it because some people frequency are fast. Some people frequency can be two times my reading behind. So remember this, okay? So if you need to find out anything and this full moon reading comes up, it will give you the message. All right, Virgos, what are you dealing with? A whole lot of worries, ten of swords stabbed in the back. And uh, um, I see some, so the two of pentacles and the ten of swords being stabbed in the back. A whole lot of news is going to be coming in Virgo. And I realize that uh, some sort of a regretful situation in the second week, let it go. And I see you Virgo men um, are in financial problem. And I see some sort of opportunity that some of you Virgo wanted. You are going to be just walking away from it. And it is the best thing to do. So let's see what's coming up in the first week. Uh, I see in the first week, a lot of you Virgo. So it's going to be making some sort of a decision about your husband. Or some of you men could be making some sort of a decision of because of some sort of a news that is coming in. All right. Then we see... Um, um, I see that, uh, um, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, um, some sort of a regret with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra between the age of 18 and 45. Um, the five of cups. Um, I see some of you, it's kind of happy that something didn't work out. Um, with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, some sort of an information, um, you're not regretting it. You know, you're happy that it happened so that people could find out who this person is. This person is a young person between the age of 18 and 45. And they are, whatever happens to this person, I see you realize that, you know, this person deserves what happens to them. And it's, this person is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Third week, I see... Um, the judge came down on you, Virgo businessmen. Whatever you, Virgo businessmen, have done, the judge came down on you, Virgo businessmen. Um, we're going to be seeing if it's you men, uh, but it, for now, the judge came down on some of you, Virgo businessmen, in uh, the third week. In the fourth week, I see an end. I uh, definitely an end is here. And whatever is transpiring, a lot of Virgos, you add hope for some sort of a opportunities to come in, some sort of a new opportunity to come in. And you recognize that this um, new opportunity is not going to be coming in. And a hand is here for you, Virgos. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, um, they're going to be now recognizing um, you Virgos are really going to be recognized. It's better that I put um and uh, um a stop, an end to this situation because it is uh, um not viable. Okay, it is no longer viable, and you Virgos recognize that uh, um it's time for me to move on from a situation. So we're going to be looking to see what that is and it's uh, um how it's coming up. So let's look at the sun sign Virgos. Um, for the sun sign Virgos, I see heartbreaks, uh, um, heartbreaks, um, or breaks for the sun sign Virgo. Um, worries, uh, ten of ten of swords being stabbed in your back. Um, worries for um, you men, especially men. So men, you're coming in this full moon um heartbreaks and being stabbed in your back by your partner and this is going to be your husband uh you men or your husband okay so some sort of information and you're going to be 
making some sort of a decision, the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So, men, um, I see that um, your wife could be deciding to leave you um, or, uh, you know, someone you were seeing on the side, um, some sort of a heartbreak, they stab you in your back, and it's because of money. Uh, so you Virgo men or women or going to be ending some sort of a relationship because of money or you're going to be deciding to end some sort of a partnership or, or marriage because of money. Whatever is happening there, um, some of you were being stabbed in the back, okay? And um, by your own husband or by your own partner, um, it can be a woman. So, and it's all because of money. So recognize this. Wow. Second week, no regrets. You don't regret the situation. You think, fine, prima, you're like leaving it alone. And you recognize that. Um, so you men or you men, your ex-wife or an ex-partner lover stab you in the back. And it's all because of money. This person um, is of greed. And I see now you're going to be making a decision. Okay, so you Virgo men were really stabbed in the back by an ex-wife or an ex-partner. And it's all because of money. And you're going to be making some sort of a decision. So I see the energy of healing. Whatever is happening and transpiring in the second week, uh, you don't, you, you know, you don't regret anything. You're just taking it and just moving away and just recognizing um, what it is. Um, so yeah, and I see you're going to be receiving some sort of a, um, news in the second week and you're going to be like, hell no, nope, it's not happening. A lot of you in the fourth week, you businessmen are trying to find inner strength. The judge came down on you. Um, this is very, very serious. What is happening for you Virgo men is definitely you Virgo men, Virgo businessmen and Virgo men. Um, the judge is coming down on you in order for you to pay some money. And the judge is really going to be coming down on you very, very hard. So um, you Virgo men are going to be finding out uh, um, some sort of uh, resolution and create some sort of a resolution. Truth is coming out. So um, the Ace of Swords in the fourth week, truth is coming out. And a lot of you had hoped for some sort of a opportunity to come your way, but you're going to be recognizing that the opportunity is not going to be coming. So I see that some of you, um, some sort of information came out and um, whatever it was is as if the opportunities are no longer there because you spoke up about something. And I would say, let it go, let it go. Um, whatever it is, let it go because uh, um, it's better to speak your truth and uh, feel better than you are um, living some sort of a lie and uh, stressing out yourself to keep this. To, okay. So Virgo, some um, sun sign people, um, sun rising people, um, money is going to be coming in. Some sort of a healing is going to be here. Some sort of a, a instability. Um, you men of the fine inner strength because the judge is going to be coming down on you men in the third week and in the fourth week, some sort of an information, you're going to be communicating something. Um, this is the energy where you're communicating something and because you communicated something, some sort of an offer that was there is no longer there and your Virgos are going to be thinking, it's okay, whatever, let it go. Let's look at the moon rising people. We see the energy of debt and some sort of a new start is going to be coming in. So the people who were born 6, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., some sort of a new start is going to be coming in. Some sort of a positive alignment of energy is going to be coming in. I see victory and success is going to be here. Some sort of a transition. Something is now ending that is going to be opening up a new start for you Virgos moving forward and you know say congratulations because this is really good for you moon sign people starting the year that some sort of a good news is going to be coming in 
where there was some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue, and now it has come to an end and some sort of a good news is going to be coming in and you're going to be recognizing that, okay? Then when we look at the Eight of Cups, some of you are ending something and moving forward. I see debt and endings, okay? So if you notice twice that some of you Virgos could be finding out that someone died in the first week, some sort of a debt, um, someone passed away. So a lot of you Virgos is going to be finding out that in the first week or sometime and the full moon, after the full moon that you're going to be finding out that there is a debt in the family. Okay, or a debt around you. Twice the energy of debt in my readings, if you're or a, a long time watcher mean a debt of someone is coming up. Second week, um, I see you're protecting your financial stability. In the second week, you're really um, standing your ground, protecting your financial stability, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see that you are trying to resolve some sort of a situation and um, at the same time protecting your financial stability. Some of you Money could be coming to you, especially you ladies that had um, money uh, for child support could be coming to you. So that is going to be good. I see you're going to be successful over a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person that has uh, tried to um, intercept or took something or tried to create some problem. I see you're victoriously, successfully overcoming an Aquarian, uh, Gemini or Libra person between the ages of 18 and 45 in the third week, you're going to be recognizing that this person is two-faced and you will recognize this and you're going to be, um, you know, successfully realizing that this person was not in your best interest. And I see that you're just going to be not really, you know, getting rid of the person, but just taking time to take your foot out of a situation and release yourself of a situation and what was happening. So congratulations, success um, is here. You're successfully overcoming some sort of a, uh, investigation, some of you. And I see you're standing your ground and really standing up against an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra who has done you a whole lot of injustice uh, and you're really successfully overcoming this young person. I see they're going to be getting rid of this young person because of what this young person have done. So um, uh, information, eight of ones, a whole lot of information is going to be coming in from your family or from your husband. So you Virgos, um, some of you men, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out about your family. Um, some of you men could be receiving some sort of a, but a whole lot of information is going to be coming out about your family. And so men, you got to be aware of this. Um, you know, family information, family secrets is going to be coming out um, for you Virgos. So be aware of what is happening and transpiring because uh, a whole lot of information about your family is going to be coming out. So be aware of this and make sure um, that that is what you wanted um, uh, to happen. Okay. You got to be aware of that, that that is what you wanted to happen before it comes out. So, so, so Virgos, what, what? What a full moon. So a lot is going to be transpiring. There is no question. Um, It is who you are and your frequency. But I see some sort of an ending is coming in and it's okay. Because it's going to be bringing some sort of a new beginning. And this is wonderful. I see a lot of you are protecting your money. A lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming an investigation that was transpiring. And I see that you Virgo um, moon sign people, information is going to be coming out about your family. And you have to be aware that a whole lot of information over your family is going to be coming out. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Please thumbs up, share, share, likes and shares and thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, if you can't leave a message, just thumbs up. I'll be grateful. Namaste. Until next time. Capricorns. Welcome, 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 you Capricorns. 
All right, Capricorns, what is happening and transpiring for you, Capricorns? So, Capricorns, um, a, a situation is not over. Um, a lot of you are looking back at the past. It's time for you to look at the future. Um, a lot of you are looking back at the past because of something that you have done, um, some sort of a situation that was created. It was it you who created the situation, and now you are looking back at what you have done and what has transpired. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in, multiple um, business offer opportunities are going to be coming up for you guys, so that is good. Second week, some sort of a situation with a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. They're going to be recognizing um, some sort of uh, lies um, around this Libran. Um, that um, it could be a Libran, but it could be also some sort of a corrupt investigator or a corrupt person that created some sort of a problem. They're going to be recognized in this in the second week, so this is going to be good. Then as we look at the third week, the third week has the energy of the Ace of Pentacles. I see money could be coming back to you and I see they're going to be realizing what was happening and what was transpiring. The Five of Cups energy and how um, a situation has gotten out of hand. And I see you are like, you know, uh, whatever happened, I just need this situation to be resolved, okay? I've wasted enough time trying to resolve this finally. Um, in the fourth week, I see some sort of a decision is going to be made. And you, uh, Capricorn men, is waiting on some sort of a decision to be made. So I see Capricorn men, um, you are really standing up in uh, this full moon and you're waiting for some sort of a decision to be made so you can move forward out of whatever you have been in okay all right so let's see the energies in the first week so a whole lot of information is going to be coming in a whole lot of money uh, a whole lot of money and information is going to be coming in that is really positive second week i see sadness for a older man um this is a older man in a government institute organization or a tax company um and a whole man who have created a whole lot of problems. They have investigated this person. This person is uh, in some sort of a, a, a corrupt, have created some sort of a corruptcy with data and documentation and sadness is coming up for this older person. I see they recognize some sort of a false item deceptiveness with a businessman. This is definitely a businessman and what a businessman have done and how he makes his money. And I see a lot of you businessmen or men 50 years and older is really thinking and looking back at what you have done and what you have created. So a lot of people, a lot of Capricorns, so, um, it's, it's as if this full moon is a wake up, look at what you have done. Action cause a reaction and especially men uh, four to five years and older, you're going to be recognizing that you have created some sort of a problem around you. You're really going to be recognizing that you men have created some sort of a problem that and now it is now escalating. And I see a whole lot of you men in the fourth week are in a lot of thoughts um, uh, of what has happened and what has transpired. So Third week, there is some sort of a deceptive play that is going to be happening with a whole lot of money, but they're going to be catching these people, so don't worry. Let's look at the sun sign people. Sun sign people, lies and deceptiveness. You were stabbed in the, your back. Truths are now coming out. So in the past, as you look back in the past, a lot of your um, sun sign people were stabbed in your back by who uh people friends uh, and um um and you got a whole lot of money you were asked to do something and whoever asked you to do something um you should have realized that you would have been caught in the long run but you took the money and just um you know laugh at the person and now you are caught i see the night um um, some sort of a love 
a whole lot of love is going to be offered to some of you sun sign people um a lot of you who are looking for relationship it is going to be happening a lot of admirers are out there so whoever is open for love a lot of admirers is there a lot of money is also going to be coming in okay a lot of you um someone asked you to do something in the past and uh, what you have done uh is coming back to bite you in the future it has to do with a whole lot of money and the ten of wands i see some of you who were having some sort of a burden um you lawyers doctor who were having some sort of a burden a whole lot of sadness is going to be coming in because um they have recognized what you have done some of you have falsified some sort of a documentation, changed some sort of a documentation. Lawyers, they're going to be coming down on you guys. And you guys are going to be very, very sad about what you have done. So I see a lot of you lawyers, uh, they're going to be realizing that you have documentation you shouldn't have. Because the person you have the documentation over doesn't even know you. And doesn't have any sort of a connection. And I see you lawyers are going to be in some huge problem. Um, then I see um, successfully overcoming some sort of a situation with money is going to be coming in. Um, this is going to be wonderful um, because they're going to be recognizing that a whole lot of money was stolen. And I see that they're going to be finding out. So let's hope that you sunshine people weren't the one who took the money. Because they're going to be finding out and it's going to be taking back the money and returning it to who the person who was supposed to have the money. Okay. Some sort of a false item and play. Now I see um, a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming a uh, Aries D or Sagittarius person. Um, success is here. The energy of the sun and then this man. You're going to be successfully overcoming this man because they recognize who this man is and you're saying Jesus how didn't I see who this man was why did I go in all of this and created this all this issue and now I'm really recognizing that this man has uh, created a whole lot of problems a whole lot of issues for me and you're now recognizing that this man has not been honest and this man has created a lot of criminal offense or let you created a lot of criminal offense so Five side people, I see that it's hard. It's uh, it's going to be hard, and I see a whole lot of you are, you know, whatever is happening, a whole lot of problems is coming like at once, whoosh, 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 and um, um, love is is open. The door for love is open, but um, a lot of you, something you have done in the past and took money for it, um, is now coming back. To bite you so if you did something for someone on the, the table it's coming back to bite you because people have found out what has transpired and i see a lot of you recognize that a fireside man was a criminal and you are you are like jesus how didn't i see this um why didn't i see this before and it is now too late so yeah too late um but it is what it is and a whole lot of you are saddened with some sort of an investigation that was taking place. Really saddened. So be aware. Now we're looking at the people who were born 6 a.m., uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Moon sign people. All right. So truth is coming out. You're now going back and looking and truth is coming out. A lot of you are putting the um, puzzles together and is recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring and a whole lot of truth is coming out wow a lot of you are recognizing what has happened what is transpiring and i see a whole lot of truth is coming out and people are now recognizing what has happened and what has transpired and they're recognizing and seeing and finding out that you men had took a young child from their parents i see you men are recognizing that what you have done was wrong that what you have done um that you have created a whole lot of um 
issues where taking a child from its mother was not right. You have done and you're going back and you're recognizing this and recognizing Jesus. Um, I created all of this. I am the one who created all of this. And I see it is as if you're facing yourself now and recognizing that you thought that it was best. I think you're just recognizing what you have done for a child and its mother. You are just now recognizing how you have created a mess for a child and its mother. And, you know, you're really it by realizing that you are the one who created this problem. You are the one that created this problem. You're recognizing it for yourself. And it is not, it's not easy, um, but it is what it is. And you did, if you had left this child and its mother, all these things that is happening would never have happened. You were not, you have done the wrong decision. Truth is coming out and I see a whole lot of regrets. People are recognizing the false play that has happened and that has created all because of money. And a lot of you Capricorn recognize that Jesus, all because of money, I got myself involved in this thing where I was okay. Um, I should have known better. I should have known better. So a lot of you is like Jesus. It's like um, a huge uh, awareness is coming that, oh my God, I should have known better. I should have known better. Why have I done this? I should have known better. So I see a whole lot of you are recognizing that, you know, you created things that you did not need to create and um, now you're recognizing that the action you you have taken in the past, and that's why you see people are all thinking uh, about the past. Action you have taken in the past have created so much problem and illusion in the present. So I see they recognize the lies of an uh, old Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. They have recognized the lies and deceptiveness of this person. They're now seeing the truth of this person. I recognize it. I see some of you are saddened, saddened that you had ever um, connected with this fireside person because you're recognizing that this fireside person um, has not spoken the truth. You recognize that this fireside person have created a whole lot of problems for you. So whoever this fireside person is, I see they are sad, you are sad. Um, you're like, why ever, why did I ever, you know, do what I have done? But it's too late because uh, um, now you're recognizing that a fireside person was very, very deceptive and was not speaking the truth. And now you are realizing, recognizing this. And some of you, it could be your mom. Some of you, the truth is coming out about a fireside person, how a fireside person Try to use your child information to acquire a whole lot of stability and wealth. And the truth is now coming out. Justice, Jesus, justice. I was wondering, Capricorn, justice came up on this fire sign woman for what this fire sign woman have done. They recognize how this fire sign woman has created a real horrible criminal offense. Uh, justice came up on this fireside woman for what she has done. So if you notice, um, you men are now regretting, some of you men regretting um, some sort of a situation with a Scorpio. Um, this could be your son and you're regretting it because you re recognize that what you have done to this child, you are the main person because you are the father that should have protected this child but you gave this child away and you took the child from the mother illegally and gave your sister this child and what is now transpiring is that this child is um pissed off and is revenging on all of us all of you so whatever is transpiring is that you're now recognizing that you made the wrong um, decision. You have made the wrong decision. A lot of people is recognizing that because of money, 
you made a wrong decision, Jesus. You took a child from its mother and the child is pissed. The child is hurt. The child is in pain. And the mother is in pain. The child is in pain. And you're recognizing that you have caused all, all of this issue. And, um, you know, it is time to mend this situation. And I think it's time to go to the child and apologize to the child and try to rebalance the situation because this child is really in pain. The mother is in pain. And what you have done was not done correctly. They are finding out who this fireside person is and that this fireside person lied and used your child information in order to get in a country and you um, create such a problem for the child mother because the child mother, because of stress and um, the health deteriorating from the child mother, you, you know, you, 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 Capricorn men recognize now that you gave this fireside woman tools to access um and how what whatever happened um you connect with this fireside woman and this fireside woman has ruined your family your child's mother's life your family life your life who is this bloody person so regrets yes regrets is here for especially men 50 years and older a whole lot of regret sadness that you have ever gotten contact with a fireside person whether this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, it's a real, very sudden that you have ever, ever asked this woman to do anything because now you are recognizing that this woman has created this huge chaos for you. Then we recognize um, a whole lot of money. A lot of you could might have to be paying this child mother. A lot of you might have to be paying this child mother a whole lot of money because they realize, realize that uh, you have treated this person and um, um, unfairly and they're recognizing what you um, um, Capricorns uh, um, who were stabbed in the back. So I see justice is coming down and a lot of you Capricorns might, um, might be re re regaining a whole lot of money, but a lot of you Capricorns might have to be paying back money and those are the Capricorn who got money on the false pretense in the past. I gotta go. Please like, shares and support. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And um, I will speak to you next full moon. Namaste.